Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore the gameplay of The Tenant, so let's dive in. In our last episode, we signed up to take part in this auction. The opening bid for this auction is $154,600. If $209,000, $709 of personal cash. We are waiting to get notified. We have a message from the building manager. You got some noisy tenants here. Reprimand them or there will be consequences. You're right. I'll talk to them. I talked to our tenant, Robert Bruce. Hey, could you turn it down a bit? You're bothering the neighbors. He said, oh, sorry, I'll be more quiet. So we are waiting for this auction to become available. We did lose a bit of money when the bills came due, but we still have more than enough to bid on this property. So I've sped up time a bit. The auction has become unlocked. We're going to join the Oral Road auction. We'll have Uncle Steve come in here. Evaluate the walls, Uncle Steve. What do you think, Uncle Steve? He doesn't like it. Evaluate the power box, Uncle Steve. We're evaluating the property. Oh, he loves the power box. He thinks that's good. He's looking at the windows. He doesn't like the windows. He's going to evaluate the heater over here. He does love the way the heater looks. And we can go over here. Looks like you really got the hang of it now. This place looks really nice. Congratulations. So we were able to get another property. Property. Now we have two properties in the suburbs. We also had an elite contract become available. Botanical Square 35. I'm looking for someone who knows how to take care of exotic plants. We got a large delivery from abroad and we need to freshen up the exhibition requirements. Renovate the Botanical Garden. Budget $24,050. Finishing guidelines, prestige and first impression. They don't mind the floors, but the payment will be $20,550. Let's accept that job and head on over to renovate the Botanical Gardens at Botanical Square 35. Here we are at Botanical Square 35. Let us begin the renovation. Fewer and fewer people come to our beautiful Botanical Garden. We ordered a lot of new exotic plants that no one in the area has seen before. I hope this is enough to attract some young people. So we need to finish the floors in paving bricks or ground. The preferred furnishing is a statue. They want us to focus on zen, contemporary, cottage. They don't like rustic or cozy. We're not timed on this job. So it looks like we're just inside the botanical gardens here. It looks like we have the ground and the paving bricks already set up. We can put a statue in here. We'll put this zen statue right about here. I'm going to put this botanical oval pond. I'll put it right there. Move the statue close to it like that. I'm going to put the botanical bridge right here. I'm going to move this up a, a little bit actually. We'll put the botanical pond right there. We'll put another botanical pond over here. We'll put another botanical pond over this way and another botanical pond over here. We have a water garden going on back here. We need fountains. We'll put a fountain here and a fountain here. We need some tropical flower beds. So perhaps we'll put a tropical flower bed back here. To put a long flower bed over here. We need two more flower beds. I'll put one right there and I will put one on the other side and I will rotate it a bit. We need one more botanical bed. I'll put it right there. We need some botanical flowers. We'll use these daisies. We'll just put the daisies right there and we'll put some daisies over here. These are cottage. This is something that the client likes. We need three more flowers. We'll put some daisies right next to these fountains. We need one more flower. We'll put this one over here. We need some botanical plants. Let's put this large mostera plant over here. We will put in this contemporary date palm. We'll do two of those. Botanical bushes. That's clover. Well, they don't really give us a lot of choices for this, do they? Let's put this here. How many of these do we need? Seven of them. Put them near the edges of the ponds. We need three more of them. We'll put some clover over here. Here, this mostera plant. And and we'll do another one right here. I'll put one back here in the corner and put it right there. We need some more botanical plants. Let's see if I can put this contemporary date palm over here. I can. Right there. Can I put this one over here? I can. Look at that. We will do this mostera over here like that. I'm going to move this one over here. We need three more plants. Can we put this over here? We can. Right there. We could put this posh plant right there. I do like this uh, tropical mix plant. We'll put this 
this over here. And I believe we have reached the required items in the botanical garden. We have $16,094 remaining. The prestige of this job is a D out of a C. I do like this tropical mix plant. I'm going to put that right in the middle right there. I do like this sapling as well, this palm sapling. This palm tree. Ooh, look at that. That's really nice. Oh, this is being blocked by this. So we'll move this over a little. I do like this palm tree. We'll put the palm tree right there. The garden is still a D out of a C. We can put a date palm right here in the middle. We can put some of these posh flowers in right over here. How big is that? Oh, that's pretty neat. We could put that in here somewhere. Maybe there. I'm going to put a contemporary date palm right there. Is The garden is still a D out of a C. We'll do some blue flowers over here. I'm going to put this contemporary flower bed over here. This is complaining that something's in the way. So we'll move this over a little bit. Don't know what's blocking this. Let me see. What's blocking it? This? Okay. We got stuff that are be is being blocked and I can't move these. So we're going to put this right here. I have no idea why these things are complaining. Oh, so it was that. That was the thing the whole time that was in the way some more daisies in here put a daisy there wonder if i can put a fountain back here the botanical garden prestige is not going up let's deliver the job here comes the individual who hired us she's looking at the clover she loves the clover she is looking at the porsche flowers she loves those she is looking at the daisies over here in the corner she loves the daisies she's looking at the overall design of the botanical gardens and she loves it and she left us a review we have unlocked some new items earn experience by completing jobs purchasing apartments and signing agreements with tenants to level up and unlock new items grow healthy new unique items unlocked from the botanical garden contract complete this elite contract three times to unlock all the items let's take a look at what our review was gardener at botanical square 35 five stars it's like smitty replaced the door with a portal through a different world astonishing amazing agent some extra cash for extra work required furnishing five stars preferred furnishing five stars floors five stars prestige was four stars because we had a d out of a c and this category was focused on first impression five stars we had a bonus of four thousand one hundred and ten dollars for a total payout of twenty four thousand six hundred and sixty dollars we also have a problem with robert bruce's electrical equipment hello there there is a problem with my electrical equipment could you do something about it yes i will send my uncle in right away okay so uncle steve is here and he's going to repair the refrigerator and he succeeded so we're gonna send him on out and robert bruce Bruce says, hooray, it's working again. Our personal cash is $51,313. We now have two properties, but I don't think we are going to start working on the property this episode. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.